this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to graph an exponential function on my math lab that has two movements. We're going to start with the graph f of x equals base e to the x. And we want to graph h of x, which is e to the x minus 3 plus 1. First, we need to identify the transformations on the original graph. Anything that's added or subtracted in the exponent is a horizontal shift. Horizontal shifts will always be opposite of the original sign. So in the power, minus 3 changes to positive 3, which is a right 3 movement. Outside of the power, we have plus 1, and that's a vertical movement up 1. So we want to take the original exponential graph and shift it right 3 up 1. Notice that in the instructions, it doesn't mention graphing the asymptote. So for this graphing tool, you'll see that you do not have the line tool to graph the asymptote. So for this particular example, it's going to automatically plot the asymptote for you. So all I need to do is select the exponential tool, and I want to plot anywhere a point. It's going to automatically default when I click that, and notice that the dash to asymptote at y equals 0 automatically appears, and the graph starts with the intercept 0, 1. I want to put the movements right 3, up 1. So go to the vertical shift box, backspace over 0, put a positive 1 for the up 1. Go to the horizontal shift graph, and you'll notice that when I clicked over, it automatically did the movement up 1, and it moved the asymptote with it click in the horizontal shift, backspace over 0, we want to make it go positive 3, so type positive 3. We don't have any reflections from negatives. Click in the base E box, and when you do this, you'll see that the movement of um, right 3 will automatically appear. The graph shifts right 3. And the base is E, Okay, so X out, and then save, and then check the answer.